Hi there. Now in this question, what we've got is a ball is projected vertically upwards with a speed of 21 meters per second from a point A, which is 1.5 meters above the ground. And after projection, the ball moves freely under gravity until it reaches the ground. Modeling the ball as a particle, we've got to find the greatest height above A reached by the ball. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to uh, pause the video. Do come back when ready and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So the first thing I'd want to do with something like this is to draw a sketch. And I'd have this say as the ground and we've got our point A, which is one and a half meters above the ground, so we just mark that in as 1.5 meters. And this ball is projected upwards then from A. So I'll just draw a little circle here to illustrate the ball. And it's projected upwards with a speed of 21 meters per second. And it's going to rise, say, to a height, say, somewhere up here. We've got to find out that height. What I'll do is we'll mark that in as h, OK? So we've got to find out h, that distance above a. I'll label that b as well, OK? So we're trying to find a, b. Now when it gets to the top here, the ball is going to come to instantaneous rest. So I'll just mark that in as 0 meters per second. And the other thing that I need to add to this diagram is the acceleration due to gravity, which acts vertically down. So that's going to be g. And I'm going to take g as equaling 9.8 okay, meters per second per second. So to get h, what we need to do is look at a SUVAT-based equation. S representing displacement, u initial velocity, v final velocity, a acceleration, and t time. Now because the ball was projected upwards, I'm going to take upwards as positive. So We've got S the displacement. Well, that's going to be plus H, or just simply H. U, the initial velocity, was upwards, so that's going to be 21. V, the final velocity, is going to be 0. The ball came to instantaneous rest. And the acceleration, well, that's acting downwards, so it's in the negative sense, and that's going to be minus 9.8. Not interested in the time, so uh, we can forget about that. So what equation would we use to link these variables S, U, V and A together? Well, the one I'm going to use then is going to be the one that leaves T out, and that's going to be V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So when we substitute our values in for V, we've got 0. And then that's equal to u squared, that's 21 squared, plus 2 times the acceleration, which is minus 9.8, times s, which is h. So if I was to add this value to both sides, I'm going to have 2 multiplied by 9.8 times h is going to equal 21 squared. And then to get h, I just divide both sides by 2 times 9.8. And if I work that out on the calculator, h turns out to be 22.5. 22.5 then meters. Okay, so that's the greatest height reached.